Hey folks, traffic already starting to build on our roads. People hitting the road for the long 4th of July uh, holiday. As a matter of fact, I spoke to my wife a little while ago. She just drove back from New Orleans and she said it was extremely slow on the interstate, slow going. Here with his insight into what we're seeing in the roadways, what we can expect, Mississippi Highway Patrol Trooper First Class Landon uh, or Roscoe. Did I say your last name right, Landon? You did. Oh, Roscoe, yeah. good. So I said it right the first time I've interviewed you. I'm so proud of myself. So tell me a little bit. So what about manpower? What does the Mississippi Highway Patrol have planned? So as far as manpower, um, this is a statewide holiday that we focus on safety and we make sure we have plenty of manpower out there. You'll end up seeing a lot more troopers on the road. Um, just to ensure the safety of everybody, everybody's travels, uh, making sure nobody's speeding, uh, making sure everybody's buckled up, not on their phones. Uh, there's, there's plenty of, of troopers that will be available to help out as well. Yeah, and you hit kind of the big ones, of course, speeding, uh, DUI is another big one. Absolutely. Uh, distracted driving, because you want to make sure uh, people aren't on their phones, and uh, that always can create a problem. And uh, then uh, other things, I like just make sure they're buckled up, because it's the law. Absolutely. Now, do you have checkpoints that you're going to have? On? We will. We'll set up checkpoints as the, as the holiday uh, travel period that we have planned out is from the 4th. Tomorrow, it starts at 6 a.m. Um, it'll run through Sunday at midnight. So through those days, we'll have kind of like we were talking about additional enforcement as well. Um, we'll have checkpoints set up just to ensure everybody's safety and even the fact of buckling up at night. There's a difference between people buckling up in the day and people buckling up at night. Really? Um, I didn't know so that. You mean is. like the kind of psychology of people doing that? Where people I guess it would more be. More likely to do it. Hey, you know what we have? I think we might have a live shot actually from our uh, storm tracker where we can get a look. There it is. That, that looks like uh, I-10 to me. What about you, Lance? Yes, sir. So, so that looks pretty open right now. But I told that story at the beginning where my wife just drove back from New Orleans and she told me it was just like slow going it's 20, they were like 20 miles an hour she was going. it's hit and miss as i traveled across i-10 um earlier uh, probably about two o'clock it was actually um kind of hit and miss as it was almost like everybody was getting out of work at that about that time mm -hmm. um getting off early for the fourth of july and stuff like that so as you'd get closer to the to the on ramps and and as you traveled along it would ease up and then as you got close, like I said, closer to those on. Yeah, and, and to just kind of wrap it up, give people sort of a pep talk on the virtue of patience. So patience, like everyone says, is a virtue. Um, patience can help you in, in the long run, even though you may spend time in your, in your car in the, in the traffic, you may end up hoping, hopefully not getting impatient, but patience is a big, big thing to practice because if you're not patient, you'll end up getting closer to a vehicle. You'll end up having somebody hit their brakes and end up in a chain reaction to yeah. where you end up. Pay having, attention having out there. That's what I tell you. When I'm on the interstate, I got news for you. I am always paying uh, attention traveling at that speed. Uh, hey, Trooper uh, Landon Orozco, good to see you, Landon, and happy 4th of July. Uh, I hope everything goes well for the Mississippi Highway Patrol, but frankly, I hope you're not too busy. Hopefully not. Alrighty, thanks. thanks.